Sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah. I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there's a Nork! Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <gasps> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working. It's working! I've got a dragon! Huh? <gasps> Whoa! Rough landing! Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring! Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussycat? Well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! I... Crush, kill it, kill it! You imbecile! You ate my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? Hello, everyone! I'm North Scorpio, and we're back! We're back in Spyro Reignited. And do not adjust to, do not attempt to adjust your TV screens. You are seeing it correctly. We are on a Monday. We are back after a week-long hiatus. That was uh, not on purpose. It was sort of accidental. Uh, so, what's going on is what I'm, uh, for here on out, going to be calling NSFL December. I feel like December. Uh, so, what's going to happen this month is I'm going to play whatever game I feel like. And then starting in January, we're going to come back to the Monday to Wednesday RPG and Thursday and potentially Sunday's NSFL. And if you're not down with that, I got two words for you. I apologize, but this is what I'm doing. So, we're back with Spyro Reignited. Um, Ripto's Rage. I can't say for sure that when we finish Ripto's Rage... I'm gonna go and start Year of the Dragon because honestly, Year of the Dragon is uh, the one I played the least. Welcome to Glimmer. Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems. Can you stop them? It's the one I played the least, and that I played it once, and it is also the one that I raged at the most when I was playing it. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to uh, handle handle that game right now it might also be nice to have a little bit of variety instead of just playing Spyro all month because that might end up what happening 
it might end up what happening. It might end up happening if I uh, do decide to stream near the dragon as well. I got some other PS4 games. But here's the thing about this. Um, so, I've mentioned this before. The reason I'm streaming at night is because my girlfriend works. So it works out. And that's also why I'm streaming Monday to Thursday and not Friday or Saturday is because she has those days off. So, as of the 22nd for two weeks, the place she works at goes into shutdown for the Christmas holidays, as factories do apparently. So, while I could continue streaming, or while I will continue streaming games, I will not be able to stream the PS4 because it's in the living room. I'll be kicking her out of the living room. I don't want to do that. So instead, I'm going to judge. I, I don't actually remember how long it took me to beat Year of the Dragon. It might be a game that I have to postpone. Hi, Spyro. I'm a friend of Alora's, and she asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress. Like this. That zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. But I shouldn't have any issues completing Spyro with his rage before then because I love this girl. And that's really the key to life. Loving the game. Boy, do I wish I could fly up there. We gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders. It looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. Can do. If there's one thing about this game that really, really was the most upsetting, it would be that. Forcing me to have to come back and replay these levels. Oh, I didn't realize I was in range for that. Because I don't have the ability to climb. Or the ability to headbutt. Or the ability to swim. Although that's the first one you get. Ah, you must be the dragon everyone's talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you a hundred of your gems to cross. Now, is it just me, or did other people not Thank picture you, money Mr. bags Dragon. as being that a free Spyro, fare? Was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. Like, it never occurred to me that he might be to a To get fare. a good look around, press the action button. Try... I don't want to do it, so I'm not gonna. Also learned, uh, I think I mentioned this when I was doing Spyro, but I, I Spyro, oh, you twitchy. Us off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. All right, thank you. Now, not to disappoint if anybody was expecting this to be a blind playthrough. This is similar to when I was streaming Spyro. I was already ahead after the first stream because I just wanted to play so badly. So I have started this game on my own. I haven't gotten far, I've only done uh, the first four worlds, I think. Maybe, maybe just three and the home world. But I have gotten a couple of the achievements. 
for instance, there's an achievement to flame all six of these within 15 seconds. I did that. There's an achievement to not feed the idol in Idol Springs any redfish, and I did that. These little lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. Bounza. This one is really easy. Nice shooting. Follow me to the next. So it is easier to use the D-pad than the uh, thumbstick. The thumbstick has a huge dead zone before it starts to respond. And so while you think or you might feel that it's, uh, it would be more... It would have better game feel. It really doesn't. It's uh, kind of cool. But it is what it is. for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. Can do. Uh, so yeah, I have, I've played a couple of the missions again. They're not... So the, the one that I found is... Oh, you can flame them, eh? I bet I could have flamed him too. To hit that lizard up. Yeah, I was doing that already, bud. And nothing. Ah, right. oh, missed him. Um, the skill, there's a skill point. Skill point in uh, Colossus. To flame, or to uh, get perfect at the hockey game. I didn't think I would ever be able to get that skill point. And in the original game, I doubt I would. I am just screwing this up. I can totally do this. You can see it. Dang it. Fine. I'll just use the rock. You can pick up a rock. Yeah, I know. That was terrible. So, in the, so the, in the original Rift of Rage, there would have been no way in hell I could have gotten perfect. But they have clearly, as I mentioned a couple times in the previous... I feel like I could do that. I feel like I could make that. Like, if, within my grasp. But at the same point, they probably deliberately put it far enough where you can't. However, I know I can get the gems that are on the ledges. So I'm going to do that. Because why not? Why not get as much gemma, gemma action as I can? Where's this guy at? He's down here. Give me the rock. Rather come to the rock. So 
So yeah, I got that skill point in Colossus for getting perfect on hockey, and I was like, this was so easy compared to the PS1. I feel a little bit defeated because it was so much more difficult before. Is it over here? No, it's on this wall. Alright. Hell is he? Took you long enough. crop of gems from the lizards here take this orb some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday I think you mean fairy peace fortunately I cannot get a hundred percent to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi! I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I uh, got a little lost. Spyro's I gonna help Katie us collect Cuddles. the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's Worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep hey, them in your guidebook. Hey, oh, yeah. I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? <gasps> if you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. I don't think it's going to take me 12 hours, but you never know. I believe Spyro Ripto's Rage took me 40 videos? Maybe it was less than that. I know for a fact Year of the Dragon was 40 videos. Or 41 videos. Or 43 videos. I don't know. It was 40 some videos. Hey. Pretty kitty. Freya. You're gonna make me roll. Shake, rattle, and roll. I said it once when I was playing Spyro. I'll say it again. I love the updated graphics. It's beautiful. The only problem I have is that if you were designing this game from the ground up, 
and you were making this grass and everything like this, you would have made the gems a little more easy to spot. Spyro, this is the home world called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Yeah, this is the same Ripto as the first game. The castle, I don't know why you need to tell me this help. again. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. Down we go. Oh, for hell's sake. <laughs> Sorry if anybody got sick there. I like that if you fall, Hunter shows up to tell you hey, to Spyro. jump across. Ripto and glide. smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press the jump button, Fair. then Are press you jump again while you're pants? still in the air to glide. <laughs> oh, for the love of Jimbolution. there was a gem over here I'm like I think I thought there was one of these over there nope sparks the dragonfly following you around is your health indicator Spyro the brighter he is the more hit points you have I know Zoe thank you now I could go into idle springs however if I go into idle springs now I won't be able to get a hundred percent because I need to be able to swim and do, uh, well drown. I, I, if I drown, I of course need to die. I need to be able to drown in order to beat that level. As far as I know, it doesn't take much to drown. In fact, it's mostly involuntary. Sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. 500 gems and I'm 81 away. So. If we go and beat Colossus. Well, Hi, Spyro. Plan. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it. Don't, don't patronize me, Hunter. Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button. Bet you I don't have to glide. Nice job. Now try to do a hover. Press the jump button. Bet I don't have to hover. This one I think Very I do have good. to hover. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't... Whee. Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. Bye, Brea. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. I also miss the animation of the orb coming out of them and bouncing into you. I just thought that was really neat. You only need 74 now. Also miss their chanting because their chanting isn't the same. They change. Oh, oh, Mm. 
<laughs> a yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. Can do, Brother Harry. Penguins! I feel so bad having to destroy a penguin in order to get a butterfly. What's up, my brother? Concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. Oh, oh. See, it just doesn't have the same charm as. Go away, rolling yak. Who needs a key when you know how to chant like this? I will agree that being if I could chant my way into things instead Enemies of needing like those a key, are too big to be charged. I'd Your do it. flame attack should easily take care of large enemies. Thank you, Zoe. It will release a spirit particle. The spirit particles will activate the power up in that world. If a power up isn't active, you need to defeat more enemies. Like this one. It's inactive. I don't. I don't know if this was the case in the first or in like the original Ripto's Rage. I noticed that the Yeti has a spirit particle in him because I didn't have enough to activate the power up and then I defeated the Yeti. I also really like this selfie. This, this, these brothers have practiced this exact pose because it's the exact same one in that picture. It's the exact same one in that picture. All of their artwork is the exact same pose. I lost my own word there for a moment. Also, don't believe they these uh, statues had hockey sticks and hockey pucks in the original. I like that. I like that they have hockey sticks. Hey, look what I can do. Now it goes into her. Tell me that I have to glide. Come on, Zoe. Remember Hunter's advice. You will glide farthest if you press the jump button again at the very top of your jump. I know, Zoe. I also don't need to. Because not only in this game do I have incredible gliding ability, I also have the hover finally. Hover is very useful. Look at that. It looks like like you could supercharge out there and it makes me wish that we could we still want to supercharge even though i'm a vegetarian i think you should torch that yeti he's pretty tough though in fact i'm not sure you're up to it how rude i'm up for it Spirit particles. I thought the Yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> anyway, 
I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. Booyah kasha. There's an idea. Maybe we replay this by uh, TMNT. Okay. So we're going to jump up here. So that way I can talk to the professor. Thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away. But now it will hide in the statues. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good. Who is that voice actor? If you want to get rid of that evil spirit for good, you must flame all the statues. If you want to get rid of that evil spirit for good, you must flame all the statues. Is that, is that, um, can't remember his name. I keep wanting to say Kenny Loggins and Kenny Baker. I know those are not true. Um, uh, Spyro reignited. Tom Kenny. That's the name that I'm trying to think of. I get the Kenny part. I often miss the other. Okay, Tom Kenny does also voice the professor. I thought so. It sounded like him. But I wasn't. I wanted to make sure. All right, enough of my dawdling and staring at who voices who. Who voiced who? Who voiced you? Who voiced who? Ain't nobody told you. Sorry, evil spirit, you will have no ground to hide in. Let me just run in here first and flame this one. Boo! Those super jumps are hard to control. <laughs> now it's hard to tell. Uh, it, I, it kinda, kinda looks like the uh, vases that you have to smash and you can't burn are glass in this one, not metal. So 
totally thought they were metal. Who made who? Who made you? Sorry. Hey! Also apologize for that. Cats seem to like scratching on things they shouldn't. Like new furniture. Right? Don't these kind of look like glass? They break like glass. Now I could flame that one and get back to him. However, if I wait until after I do these two missions, it will save me time. I'm all about efficiency or efficacy. I haven't decided. Maybe both. What the heck? That should be the last of the treasure. Oh, for God. I'm disappointed in myself for missing treasure. Oops. My bad. Missing seven. All right, let's do this. Oh, this is ah, gonna suck. Spyro, welcome. We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Yeah, you I'll play against your minutes. goalkeeper. I, I was not very good at the goalkeeper one for some reason. I think it was the stress of uh, having a time limit. But I nearly failed this the first time. I don't know what I'm complaining about. I nearly failed it the first time. I had 70 seconds left when I scored the final goal. Thank you for giving me that. I don't know why you did that. Crap. I remember in the third, the first, the the original, I could just uh, go and stand there. Clearly not now. So we're doing, we're making good progress here this time. Oh, that was bad. Ow! Freaking goalie. Also, these goalies are bears. I thought I'd slip that in there. Not even, not even just the goalies. The hockey player is well also done. a player. Have this. All right, here comes the skill point Would you like test. To try a game of one. The first to score five goals wins. You are shooting at the red goal. Off you go. All right. See, it's real easy. To flame the bear this time. And I don't know if that's intentional. It probably is. I mean, it's... Per, it, like, I would definitely give that it's geared towards kids even more so. Dang it! Ow! I'm not very good at this. I 
As long as I don't let him score, though, we're okay. And we're doing, we're doing pretty good so far. Just by doing that each time. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we're okay. Oh my goodness. Well done. Have this. If you stare at it long enough, you might not see anything. I wonder if he's saying that if I stare at it long enough, I'll lose my sight? Or if he's trying to tell me that I'm not a clairvoyant. Oh, so we got one of the skill points that I was worried most about. There are, however, some other really freaking annoying ones that I can see. The speedways. Have to do them in under a certain amount of time. Crushes dungeon I have to do without getting damaged. Gulps overlook I have to hit Ripto as well as get it, and I have to beat Ripto without getting damaged. I don't know if that's going to even be possible for me. <laughs> Fracture Hills, you'd have to do three laps of the supercharge. I don't know if that means without stopping, though I'm worried. I remember how difficult Ripto's Rage's skill points were, and I was, I'm just disappointed that they well done, didn't do Spyro. anything You've to make them the evil a little spirit more away. like why don't you take this i borrowed it from the temple they manageable less insanely difficult <laughs> i want to say they were easier Easier in the uh, the final game in Year of the Dragon. Oh, we did it. For Hundo or for Hundo. Now I can buy the ability to drown, as it has now been uh, become known. Now that I can drown, um, I'll be able to do Idle Springs. Goodbye, brothers. and the like the the more engagement that you get from Spyro Ripto's Rage this game ends up being quite a bit longer which I really like I like that they took the base game of Spyro the Dragon went we can make a game about all this collecting of gems and things and we can improve upon it by adding in missions adding in challenges effectively for you to do. It's really Hello there, Spyro. How Would you good like to learn to swim underwater? Is done. I suppose I could teach you for <clears throat> a small fee. Instead of having Call of Duty 17, which is just point your gun and shoot for the 16th time, because the first game we just had sticks. That would be an improvement, though, I suppose, if you went from one to two. I just like it when games try something new 
great. Okay. When you the tired old we know this will work, so we're gonna keep doing it. Shtick is not what people should be looking for. You shouldn't support someone that just re rehashes the same thing with a slightly updated skin year in and year out. Here's something I wish there was an improvement upon. The freaking drowning. It's so difficult to control, still. So I think we're going to do Idle Springs and then we're going to call it for tonight. That's three worlds and the first part of uh, the home world in it, of, of uh, Sunset Spr What was it called? Summer Forest? Yeah. Tomorrow we'll see if we can get through the rest of Summer Forest. <laughs> Poor guy. Spyro! The idols we were carving have come to life! They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food! Foreman Bob, are you a builder? Bob the Builder, can we fix it? <laughs> Worry not, builders of the Idle Springs world. I will save you. Looks like I got everything. Oh, I love roundabouts where I can do that. It's so nice. I've been locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idle heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. The Don't first worry. puzzle I can is help. to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. I can totally turn these blocks yellow. Boom! Oh no, they turned green. I mean, uh, I know you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. I like that he says, I've been locked in here with all the tools. And then he says, meet me outside. Because I'm not actually locked in here. I'm a fool. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. His voice sounds familiar, too. It really feels like this one was made easier, too. There's so few red fish. We didn't even get a red fish. Okay, Spyro, just one I'd have more gotten that achievement go. without even I'll meet trying. You the colored stones for your final challenge. No problem. That is, however, through most of the levels, so I'm probably not going to deal with you right away.
Maybe I will. How you like them apples? Charge! Those metal it, shields Zoe. are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If I know this. Thank you, Zoe. You know these builders have tools. Why don't they just aim the camera left or right? Use the right stick. I know, Zoe. I can also roll. You never teach me how to roll. Maybe because it wasn't in the original game. In fact, that's exactly why you never tell me how to roll. <laughs> We're not going to change the script. That would be cheating. Yeah. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Don't worry, bud. I can do this. This is easy. Oh, somebody showed up. That's what that was. Okay, so first is this one. Oops. Let's start over. First was this one. No, it was the same color first. That's what it was. Color. Then shape. Then inside shape. Then color, then outside shape. Bam, baby. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh, all I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. And you say I'm pretty smart for a dragon. I think you're pretty dumb for a green hippo. Leaving. Tired of you. Going the wrong way though. Can't see. There it is. Rolling around at the speed of sound. No, that's that's uh, Sonic, not Spyro. You know, what was that, Freya? Spyro, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. I don't think I could tolerate having a permanent spot here. Y'all break through a door and then beat yourselves on the head. Doesn't even make sense. You're not very bright, but I'm getting it.
You know what? I given you a hard time. You can be whatever you want to be. And if that's somebody who smashes themselves on their own head with their hammer because they're, I don't know, bored, you do you, boo boo. I gotta make my way around here so that way I can land on that idol for my skill point. Boom. Hello, Freya. You come back to cuddle? I can move for you. You're such a cutie. Forgot that was a supercharge. Like, oh God, I'm going too fast. All right, let's supercharge. Bang, 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 bang. Rain that idol away. So far away. Look at that. The hula girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. So why did that foreman or that builder at the beginning have to make a female hippo out of wood? Why didn't you just come over here to all the hula girls and ask one of them out? You know. Grow some ball. Just need a bit of chutzpah. Okay, bye. Gotta get the last bit of treasure in this level now. See, last bit. There's almost a hundred of it. Is there really none on that platform? Yeah. All right then. Hi, Bob. I don't know, it seems like a Bob to me. Swimming around. And we did it. Level complete. For posterity's sake, I am going to complete the level the way God intended. As these builders beat on their own heads. You know, I was thinking I have too many brain cells. It's time roasting up the wiener and eating for two. I don't know. I'm getting tired. When I'm tired, I get loopy. Start singing things that aren't real. Okay. Oh, 
Let's at least try and finish up a uh, summer forest. I know I can't finish it, finish it, because there's a freaking staircase, or er, ladder. And I can't climb those yet. But we can get a bit more. is satisfying when you miss one. Hey Zoe. You're well on your way, Spyro. Keep collecting talismans to help us defeat Ripto before he can take over Avalar. Oh, and keep collecting those orbs too. The professor thinks they will help you get back to the dragon world. I can do that for you, Zoe. What do you want? Oh yeah, you wanna ask me if I wanna change back to passive mode on my camera. Who would do such a thing? We got Sunny Beach here, which has got one of my favorite missions, which is the turtle soup one. You, you okay, I saw something shiny at the top of this wall. You could probably get it, but you'll have to learn how to climb first. Yeah, I'm aware. Hurricose, I would say, has one of the most frustrating missions I've had to do. Which is the, uh, the thieves who steal those electrical things. Nice work, Spyro. The orbs you're carrying have activated the special portal. You won't find a talisman in Ocean Speedway. But if you're fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Oh, maybe we can frustrate ourselves with, uh... Ocean Speedway before we call it a day. Maybe that's something we can do. We've got all the orbs we can get until we can climb the ladder. Say, Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. I know what's if on the other side, I actually. If only I had a few more gems, it's I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Yeah, fine. Ah, here, take yeah. my money. If it weren't for the terrible swimming mechanics, Aquaria Towers would be a pretty fun level too. And if I'm not mistaken, there's actually gems on the other side of this door, Hi, which doesn't open. This talisman door will only open if you have all six Summer Forest talismans. Once the door is open, Ripto and Crush <coughs> will be waiting in the dungeon. Oops. So we've got all the got all the gems and we've got all the orbs we can get in this area until we either can climb or can get through to gulp uh crush. So in in uh we have to do ocean speedway in under a minute and ten seconds. Do you think we can do it? I gotta say I don't. But maybe we'll be lucky. I'm gonna try it. This might be something that I did. I end up doing off, off stream. Because these speedway missions are generally frustrating as all balls. But really, as long as you do this mission the way it's laid out, you should be able to do it in under that time. 
Oh. Unless I fuck up and do that. I'm just gonna... There we go. I deserve that. It's been so long since I did, did uh, Ocean Speed, any of the speedways in Spyro Ripto's Rage. I don't remember them. I think what I'm supposed to do is back there. I missed two. And I hate things that are so close to the water. They, they just infuriate me. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> I I believe I am supposed to supercharge along that ramp. Or along that course. Oh for the love of Jim Pollution, just I can do this. I'm not too tired for this, right? I hope not. I might be too tired for this. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. oh. doing this in under a minute ten. Hey. Well at least we did it. Minute seventeen. I gotta shave seven seconds eight seconds. All right, we're gonna try it once. I'm gonna try it once for the time limit. For the skill point, that is. Oh, for the love. I missed him. Not gonna bother. Let's go do the uh, orb challenge. Which I remember being just as enthusiastic about. Um, here is the stands. There they are. Oh, I guess oh. now you think you're pretty good. Well, let's see if you're as good as the current champion. I'm ready for a race. All right, Spyro. Meet the course champion. In order to win the race, you must fly through all the rings. But beware. If Hunter flies through a ring first, the ring will start to shrink. He flies through all the rings first. I don't know what you want from him. Oh, 
Oh, I missed that one. It's not as all right. Man, do I not like the speedway challenge. Like, I like the concept of the speedways. I just... Why they gotta be so difficult? Why? Oh, flying into the sun. I'm gonna get my wings clipped like Eekers. Come on, Hunter, why you gotta take such a weird path? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I caught up. Hunter, you're slow. Nah, you know what it is? Hunter, you're annoying. Your path is pretty. Ridiculous. So inefficient. Take multiple laps around the same area. Learn to be. Hold on. There we go. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Great job, Spyro. That was some excellent flying. Thank you. So we've completed this level. Except for the skill point. I'm gonna try it one more time. Let's see if I can get the skill point. I wish that explosion wasn't so jarring. It's just right in your freaking face. Oh crap. I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna be like two seconds over, which is gonna frustrate me. Oh, I'm a second over. That's even more infuriating. Okay, that means I can do it. I just missed that one guy. And that messed me up. I think it's actually because of I forgot where I was going. I didn't realize I only had the one left and I went right on through when I was charging. I think that would have been my... My fix. Two left. One left. System. Oh, I'm gonna screw this up now. Nope. I'm gonna pop in the water here. I'm a determined fool. We can do this without letting ourselves get frustrated. I know I'm 100% complete. But there's a skill point to be had. And I am not a quitter. I'm not afraid to take a stand. Just letting you know that you're not alone. I don't know why MM popped up right there, but it did. Oh, 
Oh, I missed one. Oh, this is not going to end well for me. Oh, I missed two. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. When I missed the first one, it was probably okay. And then I thought, I have only one left. I must go and get him now. And I was so wrong. Oh no. After so okay. Okay. John's getting upset. One more time. We can do this. I think. Reasonable. You pretty much have to be completely perfect on this in order to get it, and that's just not one, two, three. Son of a why am I fucking that up now? Alright. Twelve times a charm. You know the exact path you have to take. The only reason that I was one second ahead was because I missed one guy, and now I'm having a hard time following this freaking path. Here we go. What? Er, I am so annoyed at the freaking explosions right now. It would be better if I dealt with the boats first, then the rings, then the cars, and then at the very end the arches? Probably not. Oh god, I keep missing the fact that there's two left. I don't know why I'm screwing that up. I think I'm a couple seconds faster though, even though I missed that guy. We're gonna hope. We're hoping and wishing and thinking and praying. Oh my goodness, I did it. Skill point required. Nope, I'm done. I'm fucking done. Beautiful. 400 gems, another orb, and a skill point to boot. Let's take a look here for a moment. So when we get to Huracos, we gotta get all the windmills, easy enough. Aquaria Towers, we gotta burn all the seaweed, easy enough. Crush's Dungeon, we have to get perfect on, not so easy. Skelos Badnet lands, we have to flame all the cacti, as well as get the Catbat Quartet. I did those in my sleep back in the day. Those will be easy. As far as achievements go, curiosity here. Um, we have to defeat every robot in Huracost, which is super easy. We have to headbutt every turtle in the turtle soup challenges, which I can't do until we got the ability to climb. Um, destroy every robo shark should be fairly easy. And then we have to, comp I, I, I don't know what the hell this means. Complete Crush's Dungeon without hitting any fodder. If that means without getting hit, okay. Um. Oh. 
I'm actually going to go back in here for a moment. There's an achievement that I can get pretty easily here, which is heat up the crowd, which is to, I assume, flame all the dolphins. So we're going to do that. Oh, for the love of Jim Belushi, I can't believe I misjudged where I was that badly. Into the drink you go, Spyro. I know this is trivial, but... You're the only one left, Queenie. Can I flame you too? No. Warm up the crowd. All right. All right, I hope everybody has enjoyed my, the beginning of Spyro Rifter's Rage. We're day four of Spyro Reignited. Tomorrow will be day five. We will finish up Summer Forest. See if we can get all the rest of the skill points. We're going to be looking at getting skill points and achievements as well as all that treasure, baby. <laughs> I don't know. Clearly overtired at this point. He's time for bed. <laughs> so I shall bid you all adieu. And until next time, I will see you all later.